the vapor spur. I'm so sorry it's been so long. I'll try to make this tutorial a good one to make up for it. So, today I'll be teaching you how to make an origami Hercules wheel, one of my designs, recently actually. If you got more recently from the old one from my last video. <clears throat> so, so, it's a pretty cool model, and I will tell you, there are some harder folds in it. So, I will recommend having at least two to three years of origami experience and know how to make a bird base from um, a scratch paper without like, having the original preliminary base. Okay, let's start. So, what you're gonna do is you're start by folding in half diagonally. I'm gonna be using a square sheet of cardstock. Kind of cardstock, if you need to use square sheet, it's kind of printed or kind of cardstock. It depends how you look at it. If you're having, if you already have a square, just wait for me. Oh, you need to fold in half diagonally, anyways. So do that. And pretty strongly if you're doing it like me with a sheet of printer paper. Oh, good news. I'm not sure when, but there's a possibility it might be open in a shop, but not completely sure. It might not be anytime soon. Or, or might not do it at all. But I will, I, eventually I probably will open one that shows where I got me paper. You're gonna like it. Okay, so now we have a square. Fold in half in all directions. Not all directions, all diagonal directions. And fold all the corners to the middle. You know, I actually pull it out of the direction they got from several guys. Then, pull it in half. Like I said, you're supposed to do Sorry about that. Okay, come on. Then, pull all the edges to the middle. This is a pretty simple model, but just in case, I recommend having some experience with at least some, some like, complex work on me. This is a pretty simple one. You can like, Night of Hybrid Chaos Dragon or the 40 Pound, and I'll make a collab tutorial on soon. Okay, now what you're gonna do is you're gonna fold in half diagonally. And you're gonna make sure it looks like a, a diamond or the square, switch it on its side. Or on its corner, I mean. Then, fold this, basically fold this corner and put it all along the crease. And we're gonna fold along this crease. And then, we're gonna go along, we're gonna make a rabbit ear, so, and the creases are gonna end at this crease. If you're unlike me, you can make creases here or here. Me, I just prefer to do it all at once and to just pull it out of the crease, which maybe I'm maybe really smart, I don't know. I just, <laughs> I'm in a rush to die, you know? I might have to do a walk soon, actually, so I'm gonna try to get this tutorial in. And we'll be on the other side. Unfold completely, and then you can give your direction. And then we are completely done with the pre crease. Yeah, that's pretty simple, right? All right. You guys look at my new camera angle so you can see the detail a bit better. I zoomed out because I had bigger paper and now I'm trying to zoom out better. You know, I did this for a tutorial at school on how to do um, the power rules and derivatives, which is simpler than you think. I'll make a couple of thumbnails on the math channel. Oh, by the way, feel free to check out my two new channels my crochet channel and my, um, and my other extra hobbies channel, which will teach you many other things that I like to do. With. Mamba belts, cross, maybe a bit of cross stitch, and, and even the my first video is on how to do my version of finger whistle, so go right there after this video. Okay, so now what you're gonna do is you're gonna go now and fold along the edges of this ninja star 
for this star with four points and everyone call it. more also this house we have a lower thing to show up my face which I'm sure I will someday but since I'm only 11 I want to keep my privacy. I know I can see some turn but I'm not familiar with it. I'll get the blurred sometime and once the tube gets a better blurred face picture which currently it doesn't have a very good one unfortunately. It's an unfortunate funny story I recognized a pumpkin instead of my face. <sighs> better blur than the But it's just for a split. Okay, and we have it all done. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna tilt it a lot on its corner and put it all together. And then you're gonna go, go make, push this in push this in and then you're gonna have this this um, X thing and make sure it goes like this and then push up all together creating a, a pre crease petal board or the first half of the bird base what you're gonna do is do that all the way around so now it's gonna be a bit easier to line up the creases because now we have a little guideline so we're gonna fold this to the side um, start again. Except, we want to make sure that we make sure all the, otherwise it's not going to work, we want to make sure all the pedal holes go towards the middle. Okay, now, what you're going to do, hold another pedal. To make a, if you want me to grant you access to me in this tutorial or even show one of my models in your videos, thank you very much. Whether you know me or not, I I would like you to to ask me whether you know me if it's in person or if it's um you know, or if it's just online and you want to see me or ask me for permission. I'm happy to tell you to do it, but you have to check with me first, please. Okay, so we have our base collapsed. I'm going to turn it on the light. And we have this. So what we're going to do is we're going to fold it to get like this. this we're going to fold it so that it has a completely blank part. And yeah. And then we'll be on the other side. swivel fold or reverse fold, whatever you want to call it, the legs out on all of them. Three legs on each side. Little flap too. And we have this. 
this, and it's on one side. Let's look at this one real estate. And then we're gonna keep the legs in it. I'll show you what we're gonna do next. By the way, you can also make this into a jumping spider. I'll make if this video hits, let's say, three likes by by June twentieth, then I'll make a tutorial on the jumping spider. How's that sound? Cool. Now we're gonna do, make the. Um, well, obviously, we don't have to look at the uh, shelled. Um, what's it called? Hercules Beetle. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna stick our finger in here and push out each side. Like this. And then, And then we're gonna flatten it down so that we have the shell. Pretty cool, right? Yeah, I designed it. I, this is probably one of my most cre coolest creative designs. Okay, so we have this. We have the shell. Now we have one last thing to do before we start shaping it, and that is to make the, the mouth or the the mouth and you you know what I mean. The mouth. Or the piercers or you I don't know what they're called. Cute pincers, I guess. And then we grab ears for those, just like in your channel's model. And then we're gonna shape it a bit. Make it pointy. And then what you're gonna do, if you're gonna work on the line of the first thing for it. Do that on all of them so they look like this. Feel free to prank your friends with this. As long as it's like the right color, like brown or black, you know? Otherwise, they wouldn't they wouldn't be surprised if this is looking they would they wouldn't be very impressed if they see like an orange or these be like this one. Yeah. Um, put these, push these together and switch it down. Or actually, just hold it strongly, and you have your Oregon Crystal Beetle. I can just drill, and I'll see you next time. Bye.